when is the best time and day to sell on carousel? So I'm not sure if you know about all these apps these days. They're like online garage sales or virtual garage sales or used item resell groups. It's kind of the latest craze. You know, why buy everything for 100% when you can buy things for, you know, 70, 80, 90% off. So all you have to do is go and download the app. And then you can go on there and you can buy stuff yourself. You can sell stuff. To sell is super easy. All you got to do is snap a photo, upload it, add a description and a price, things like that. And then people all over town will be able to see it and they'll text you and comment and say, I want this or, hey, where can we meet? That kind of thing. And you arrange the transaction details. So the apps are super easy to use and there is a ton of money to be made. This is actual money that I laid out on my bed one time. This is $2,100 that I made in 17 days flat. Uh, as a matter of fact, I explained people how I did it so fast in a different video, but there is real money to be made here. And if you think about it, it makes sense. People are so bored these days and they've got some extra money, right? They, they pay their bills and then they've got extra money. And I have found that people literally, and myself included, you wake up, you're kind of bored, and so you turn over and you grab your phone. Don't you? Haven't you noticed that? Sometimes you go to sleep with your phone. You go to the bathroom with your phone. You're bored at work and you've got your phone. You're at a red light and you've got your phone. And so people are just shopping and they're bored and they're looking for stuff to buy. So why not get in on the action? I mean, think about the stuff around your house right now, right? Fireplaces, chairs, baby stuff, toys, cat stuff, jewelry, shoes, clothes, jackets. There is so much stuff around your house that maybe you just want to switch out. You want to trade in one lamp and go buy another lamp. You want to sell something that you don't really use anymore to buy a camera that you do want to use. There are so many things. And so why not get in on the action? Okay, but wait, so this is where it starts to get tricky. Everyone's gonna tell you it's just so simple. Just snap a photo and upload it. Well, hold on. If everybody's snapping photos, how are you not gonna get lost in the pile? When is the best time to post? How do you post? How do you make your stuff stand out? And that's what we wanna talk about in this video. Okay, so if everybody's posting, how do you make your stuff stand out so that it doesn't get lost in the pile? How do you make sure your stuff sells fast? Okay, so it might sell eventually, but how do you sell it quickly, right? How do you make sure that your photo stands out? What's the best time and day to do your posts? Do the headlines and the description really even matter? Or is it all just about the photo and the price? Should you opt to post your stuff on your Facebook timeline as well as wherever you might post it. That is, should you let your friends and family see it as well? Here's another one. How do you bump up your post to the top of the page so that it gets refreshed? Or do you have to just delete it and start all over and just repost over and over and over again? These are good questions, right? So let's dive into this. First questions, do the headline and description actually matter? Yes, of course they matter, right? So in the headline, here's the trick to it. You got to sell the sizzle and not the steak. That, that's, that's kind of the big idea here. That is, you don't want to tell them just what the thing is. You want to tell them what you can do with it. I'm going to explain what I mean by that in here in just a second. In the description, that's where you want to give the details, right? The size, the condition, is it new, used, that kind of thing. Any issues, hey, this thing has a little tear on the side. This has a stain. The strap won't really buckle. You know, sometimes the battery won't work, get those kind of issues. Uh, the high, low price, that is to say, it was new in the stores for 200, but I'm selling it to you for 50, that kind of deal. Pick up location, what part of town you're in, when you can meet them, that kind of deal. So let me ask you this, which kind of, uh, of ad stands out more? Now this is from a Facebook post. I just happened to grab one real quick just to show you. But this person here says, sofa. You see how they screwed up the, the headline there? Well, of course it's a sofa, I'm not an idiot. But they, they, they use the headline to tell you what it is and not what it does. So it says sofa, 150 bucks, Memphis, Tennessee, cream sofa for sale, in great condition. We've only had a little over a year. We're moving and need to be gone by Thursday. We've extended the ottoman, can be switched to the other side of the couch. Cream pillows are included, smoke-free, pet-free, asking $150 OBO, which means or best offer, which is really dumb. All you're saying is, I'm not really serious about the 150, so just offer me what you can, because I got to get rid of this. Front porch pickup in Bartlett. I guess that's outside of Memphis or something. Near the Quail Ridge Golf Course, cross-posted, which means that you've posted it on multiple places, right? 
Now, are you attracted more to that sofa ad or a sofa ad that looks like this? Best snuggling sofa and love seat, super comfy, $139. This piece is so beautiful, super clean, super comfy. And of course it goes with anything in your room. Stop right there. Which one are you already more excited about? Do you see what I'm saying? So it's not just about the price and the, the picture. It's also about the words you use. This set goes for $7.99 in the store, so this is a steal. Who's going to get it first? XP, which means cross-posted. Don't want unless you can pick it up this in the next 48 hours. I can deliver for a small fee. Do you see how much different that is? Let's look at another one. Which one stands out to you here? This person here is selling a bar or a dresser of some kind. Bar, $75. I have a bar that needs to be gone today. It must have shelves for wine on the bottom. It's very nice. It lights up. Gives the length, asking $75, OBO cross-posted, right? Now, is that one more attractive or is this one more attractive? Jam out with your vintage hidden radio and record player, 49 bucks. Solid wood dresser, sturdy, nice finish on wood. Midsection opens for speakers, hidden record player and radio. Not working now, probably an easy fix, but I don't know anything about them. This is a rare find. Pick up and Bartlett within 48 hours, okay? Delivery available for a small fee. Come on already. Do you feel the excitement coming out of it? That's what I mean by you have to sell the sizzle and not the steak. Here's another fun one. Think of all the super cute cat videos you could take. $29. Mr. Whiskers will be amazed, fascinated, enchanted, and overall mesmerized by this odd, mysterious contraption that you brought home. Think of all the exploration and jumping onto and off of, and God knows what else they'll do on this. They start at 70 in the store, so this is a steal. Cross post it. Whose cat will win this prize? Don't want unless you can pick up and Bartlett within 24 hours, okay? So whoever's writing this ad has got it. They've got, they're selling the sizzle, not the steak. Here's another idea I've seen. Put the words on the pictures. That's a pr pretty good one. So you, you see here, sometimes in some of these apps, people just look at the pictures and they never actually read the descriptions. So you can put the pictures uh, so you can put the text on the pictures. All you have to do is go to your app store and type in text on image and choose any of those apps. There's tons of them these days. You just choose your image. You type what you want to. You place the text wherever you want to on the, on the picture and Shazam. And then you upload that picture with the text on it. That's also a really good idea. But the big question was, does the headline, does the description matter? Yes, it does matter. Another big one. What's the best time and day to post? Here's what I've learned, been learning. I've done this for a long time, and here's what I've done. People wake up and they shop. I know that sounds strange. You probably do it yourself, but if you don't, believe me, they do. People roll out of bed and they get on Facebook. They get on these apps. They start looking around. They also do it during lunchtime. So if you post right before sunrise or if you post right before lunchtime, you'll find that a lot of people are getting it. Now, sometimes people ask me, well, what about four o'clock in the afternoon? Yes, you can do it then, right before people get off work. You can also do it after dinner, around eight o'clock. But the best times are before sunrise and before lunch. That's when I post. Let me give you a couple of things about days to post and to never post, okay? So never post on Mondays or Fridays. You think Fridays, wait, people are getting paid. No, they're, they're thinking about the weekend. And honestly, most people don't shop on Mondays because they're already worn out and they've spent their money and they're trying to get focused on work again. And they don't on Fridays either. Another big one is don't post after a three-day weekend. So if you have a Martin Luther King Jr. Day or a Labor Day or something like that, and it's now a Tuesday, even though it's a Tuesday and not a Monday, don't post. What I'm trying to say is don't post on the first day of the work week. You're not going to get a lot of traction. So post on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays at 6 a.m., 11 a.m. or 4 p.m., right before people get off work. You can also post on Saturday or Sunday mornings. That's the best time to post. All right, next question. All right, well, we're out of time for this video. So in the second video, we're going to talk about should you use your real name and picture? That's a trickier question than you think it is. Also, should you post on your own Facebook news feed, which is completely different than Facebook resale groups? Also, how do you find more stuff to sell than this, this stuff around your house? That's a very fascinating question to pursue. Also, I'm going to tell you about how I make about $300 to $1,000 every single week doing exactly what I'm showing you right now. That's exactly why I'm 
I'm making these videos. I want everybody to know about this. There's just too many moms and dads that need money. There's too many single parents out there that need money. There's students, there's couples. Everybody's looking for extra money and this is way easier and I don't think people are putting all the dots together. So I uh, made a couple of videos to put all that together and show you what I've learned. You don't wanna miss this. Believe me, you're gonna be fascinated by what I teach. I've been doing this a while. I've made a ton of mistakes and there's no reason for you to. So you can learn very quickly from all my wisdom and all my mistakes and all my experience. So click on part two of the video right now.